let's consider this question this is the function and we are taking the limit as x tends to pi over 2 however we have a minus here which is a superscript the minus just indicates that this limit is approached from the left and it does not affect the x tends to pi over 2. Hence, we are going to solve this problem as if this is just alone. Step number 1. Apply direct substitution. And by plugging, we got infinity to the power of 0, which is indeterminate. To apply step number 2, Let's remember that the natural log of a to the power of b is the same thing as b, the natural log of a. You can see that this b came to the back of the natural log. We are going to apply this to the function. In step number 2, we are going to say let y be equal to the given question. Here, I'm just letting out the superscript because it doesn't change the question or the function. Step number three. We are going to take the natural log of both sides. Next, in step four, we are going to take this cos x at the powers and bring it to the back of the natural log. Hence, Step number 3 will become this. The cosine is now at the back of the natural log. Step 4 is same as step 5 because cos x is the same thing as 1 divided by 1 over cos x. You can see if I solve this denominator which is this, I'm going to get cos x back which is this. Hence, nothing has changed. Subsequently, 1 over cos x is the same thing as sec x. That is, at this denominator, instead of 1 over cos x, I'm going to write sec x, which will be step number 6. Because of this concept, I'm going to rewrite this. And we are going to have 1 over sec x. Next, in step 7, the sec x will continue to divide at the denominator. Next, in step 8, we are going to apply the Hopital rule to this function. In step 8, apply the Hopital rule. That is, we are going to differentiate each of these functions separately. To apply the Hopital rule, let's recap. If you're given y equal to in x to find dy dx, your answer will be first you need to differentiate the x, and your answer is 1. Next, you will now recopy back this x to the denominator. This becomes your answer. Let's apply the same concept to this question. We are going to differentiate tan x and our answer is sec squared s. Next, we are going to recopy back the tan to the denominator without the natural log. This becomes our answer. Likewise, if we differentiate sec x, your answer is going to be sec x tan x. With this concept, next, let's differentiate the numerator, which is in tan x. And we're going to have sec square x over tan x. Next, we're going to differentiate the denominator, which is sec x. And our answer is sec x tan x. Before we take the limit, Let's simplify this further. 
next this and this are the same however sec square x is the same thing as 1 over cos square x subsequently tan x is the same thing as sin x over cos x and sec x is the same thing as 1 over cos x and tan x is the same thing as sin x over cos x next i will simplify this further still simplifying step 8 this and this both are the same and we are going to change this to a multiplication sign and it's going to inverse cos to the numerator and sign to the denominator next the division sign changed to multiplication sign hence the cos moved up and the sign now came down which is this next we are going to change this division sign to multiplication sign and it's going to inverse this function next we can open up all the brackets and this cos square x can take away cos square x and we are now left with cos x divide sine square x now that we have simplified step 8 next in step 9 we are going to take the limit of this function that is the simplified function hence we are going to take the limit of this function that is wherever we see x we are going to input pi over 2 pi over 2 is equal to 90 degrees which is 180 divided by 2 which is 90 cos 90 is 0 and sin 90 is 1 hence the natural log of y becomes 0 next to make y the subject and get rid of the natural log we are going to take the exponentials of both sides of the function which is step 10 take the exponentials of both sides exponential will neutralize natural log next y is now equal to exponential 0 and exponential 0 is 1 recall from step number two we assigned the given question to y if y is equal to one and we assigned y to be equal to the given question then our final answer is one and from the options our answer is d in precalculus to locate all the videos follow the link on the screen i will see you in the next video